Okay, Mom. Yes, I'm still in Manitoba. Yes, it's still wet. Mom, I want to come home. Captain Karen Mayer of the Armed Forces. Karen, that was really an amazing effort by the Armed Forces during this crisis. It sure was, Peter. It was uh, an incredible experience. Uh, it was a chance for the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force to work together with the people of Manitoba, and some tremendous work has been done. I mean, we're, we're impressed. We're still here. We still have 2,000 people on the ground here, uh, mostly engineers, Army engineers and Air Force engineers working to make sure that the reentry gets underway. Now, how, at the height of it, it looked like a, a war zone. How many folks were here? I, I wouldn't describe it as war zone. I think it was a little more organized. But uh, at our peak on May 3rd, we were 8,200 total. We, in that, we had 1,500 Air Force and more than 300 Navy. So from our perspective, it was a tremendous opportunity to work within our own sort of military structure. And I know that there are thousands and thousands of Manitobans out working side by side with us, slinging sandbags and getting aircraft in the air. And it, it was just superb. Now, what's going on right here now? Um, right here now is a, a tremendous effort. It's a, a relief concert, and they're raising money to help Manitobans get back into uh, their homes. All right, uh, Karen, I'm sorry. I, I think I hear choppers. This was a sound that Winnipeggers yeah. got used to over the, over the crisis, and I believe, is it the 402 squadron? Uh, 408 squadron from Edmonton. 408 yeah. from we Edmonton. Had, uh, we had more than 33 aircraft here supporting this operation. Now we're down to six, uh, four Griff uh, two Griffins, rather, and four Jet Rangers, so they should be flying by anyway. All right, folks, look skyward. For a big and you know what? They're not there, but Diana Swain is on the stage. Diana. Hi, everyone. Well, during the last.